This is how to make a DVD slideshow, as opposed to just putting pictures onto a DVD where you would open them up and manually advance from picture to picture. This is so you can put a DVD into a DVD player onto a special TV that shows slideshows and they will advance automatically. We're going to go down to the Start button on your Windows desktop and go to All Programs and find Windows DVD Maker. Open that up and this is what it looks like. We're going to add items. Go Wherever your pictures are, go find them. Usually they're defaulted into your library, in the pictures, but you may have created a folder somewhere for them. I put mine in an external drive. So I, I'm going to go there to my pictures, to my family photos, and I'm going to go to some old photos that I want to make a slideshow out of, and I'm going to do Control A. That chooses all those pictures, and I'm going to go down to the lower right hand corner and say Add. Now there's 306 pictures in that folder, so they're all going to add onto the DVD Windows, make, uh, Windows DVD Maker. And it's going to give it a title of today's date by default, but we're going to change that. There they are, 306 pictures. So far, everything's going just fine. Now we're going to say Next down in the lower right-hand corner. And the menu text, as you see, is defaulted to Today. So we're going to go to Menu Text, and I'm going to say 1980s. Let me see here. There's only so many letters it gives you. Then you're going to say change text down in the lower right hand corner because you're changing it from the defaulted date to what you made. I'm just going to say that. There you go, change text. Now you want to put a opening scene on and over here on the right are all your choices. You can just click on one and try it and see what it looks like. I kind of like that. And these when it plays, these will be uh, various photos that will pop up in these so it looks real nice. I'm going to say burn. Now this is not where you put wording and music and all of that kind of stuff necessarily. It's when you're ready to burn your DVD. If you want to do more fancy things, then you need to go to uh, Windows Live Movie Maker. But now it's telling me to insert a disk into my disk drive. So I'm going to do that right now. I inserted a DVD minus R because the minus R plays on over 90%. I think I've heard up to 95, 98% of all DVD players where the plus R has uh, only a few applications. I don't know why, but the plus R for some reason, the format only plays on certain DVD players. So if you give somebody a DVD and they say, I can't play it, that's why. The brand new DVD players generally can play both. So now it says it's encoding, it's creating the DVD. This is where if we sit here it's going to be like watching grass grow. So we're going to uh, stop our recording and uh, come back when it's done. Generally that will take 15 to 20 minutes, depends on how many photos you have on it. This could take upwards of 15 or 20 minutes. So now you see that it did say encoding at first, and that went on for about oh, 10 minutes, and then now it's been going for about 5 minutes, and it says burning DVD. So we wait till that's done. Okay, so then your DVD will pop out, and it says your DVD is ready. This is your opportunity to make another copy of the DVD quickly, because if you start over, it it takes 15, 20, 30 minutes. But if you make another copy right now, it will pop out another copy in about five minutes. So you can make half a dozen copies in the time that it 
takes to make one. So say you don't want to make another copy, you say close, and it will come back here and you can close this and it will ask you if you want to save it. So you can say yes, and you can call it your 1980s slideshow, just like you called the other one, and make sure you're putting it where you can find it. So I'm going to put it on my external hard drive into my videos. I'm going to make a folder. I'm going to call it my 1980s slideshow. It's always smart to name something that's exactly the same over and over. So I made a new folder. I hit enter, and now that folder is chosen, and I know because it's blued in. And I'm going to go down to the bottom and say open, so it opens that folder, and then I'm going to say save. So now my DVD maker video is saved, so I could open it up and make another DVD anytime I want to. Now I'm going to put the DVD back in to the computer. It opened, I'm going to close the drawer, and it should pop up by itself, but if it doesn't, you go down to start, go to computer, look at the DVD RW drive and wait for it to recognize the DVD. As you can see this green bar going across the top, it's loading up. This is how I'm going to, like you used to check your math when you were a little kid. I'm going to check my DVD and I see the blue bar on there so it tells me yes, it's on the DVD. I'm going to double click on it, which would be similar to putting it into a DVD player. And I'm going to see if it comes up and if it plays. Yes, there's my play button. And there it is. So it made very beautifully. Now if this were in a DVD player, I'd have a remote likely and I'd push play, but I'm going to use my mouse and click play. And it should play. And there it is. And you watch. I'm not doing anything. And it should advance from DVD to D or from see how it dissolves into it from picture to picture rather. Okay, so that's on a DVD. And there you have it. I'm going to click stop. Hit escape if you want to go out of there. And that's it.